Hi, I'm Theo, and these broadcasts are to support the blogs on nomorshi.com's website as well as the online classes. In this episode, we explore biblical fonts. Welcome back to the No More She broadcast. Today's broadcast, we're going to talk about biblical fonts. Where can I get the fonts needed to do biblical studies? So if you're looking for biblical fonts, I have uh, three websites here I want to highlight for you to help you do some form of biblical fonts. And the first one is the Society of Biblical Literature, the website. So check out this link in the description. And you can download their fonts right here. And they have a, a Biblical Fonts Frequently Asked Question page that you can address. And you can get access to their fonts. And they have very good fonts. And it's very excellent to use for just using generally the Biblical Literature font itself will automatically switch between transliteration, Greek, and Hebrew. If you want the Greek font or the Hebrew font itself, they have those here. So I would definitely say that you want to check out the Society of Biblical Literature's uh, site here that I have included and download these fonts and use them to teach or to do assignments. The second website I want to look at is those of you who know I'm very fond of Logos Bible Software. And so... Logos Bible Software comes with ancient language keyboards for Windows. Or if you have Mac, you can check it out. Uh, you can get the Mac version. But here you can just, they're free, of course. So it's absolutely free. Just add it to your card or quick buy and check out. Uh, sign in first, as we teach you in all of our Logos videos. Sign in first and then check out and you'll get it. And here's a little video to help you understand how this works. And here's all the instructions. So just check out this link below or type in, you know, keyboard. Do your type in keyboard here. And there's keyboard for Windows. That's how I got here. So uh, original language keyboards for Windows. And it will install this on your system and give you the ability to switch at the bottom of your screen from your language to transliteration or uh, Hebrew or Greek, and you can use the keyboards to input the actual languages. Just a quick reminder here, I'm pretty sure you don't even need to own Logos, although Logos is free. If you want to know how to get free Logos, you just check out our other videos. We have tons of videos on ways to add free content to free Logos and to sign up for Logos. But even if you don't own Logos Bible software, I'm still sure that these keyboards will work for you if you download them and download the accompanying fonts and add them to your computer for uh, giving you the ability to type in the original biblical languages uh, in your projects. Finally, those who are interested uh, in Brill, Brill is one of the most popular uh, academic very scholarly uh, publishing company and they have this wonderful font that they use and so uh, if you want to get their font that uh, that you want to use in any of your presentations or your your content that you're producing you can go to the link provided and get access to Brill's fonts and use those even in uh, one of the things that you might not know, but you can change your font inside Logos if you want. And if you prefer the Brill's wonderful font they use uh, in all of their uh, publications, and maybe you want to use that, it's a nice font. Uh, I highly recommend, if you want to, to have that typeface, to download it and use it in all of your applications accordingly. And Hopefully, you'll find something here to help you with your study of the Bible with biblical fonts. Thank you very much, and God bless you for listening. Stay tuned for more episodes in videos to help you with your journey.
from nomorecee.com.